hello guys welcome to my channel fast nj24 tv so kogi state government has reacted to an outburst by natasha kuti a pdp central candidate in the state over the recent cutting of roads in kogi central central district please if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any update from this channel it will be recalled that in a video posted on our facebook page on thursday the Kogi Central Central candidate accused Yaya Bello of all the excavation of some roads leading to her hometown. In the video, she noted that if the roads are not covered up, her supporters and herself may be at the mercy of thugs should they be attacked and it will be impossible for INEC to assess her community for the conduct of the elections. However, while reacting to the statement credited to Natasha Akoti, the Commissioner for Information and Communication in the state, Kenji Fowo, noted that the cutting of rules has nothing to do with the elections. According to Channel TV, he said the state government is only concerned about the welfare of the people and they are willing to do whatever it takes to ensure that the good people of Kogi State are safe. Casey Fowo, however, wondered why Natasha Akoti is complaining when INEC has, has communication structures and platforms in place and they are yet to make any complaints. According to the Commissioner, Natasha Akoti should recognize the fact that the administration of Yaya Bello will never slaughter security on the slab of politics and will repeatedly deal with criminal elements as well as their sponsors. Our responsibility is to protect the people of Kogi State. Sometimes we have to take temporary discomforting and drastic steps to achieve that. I next have to complain about assessing every part of Okei local government and Kogi Central in general. Why is Natasha Akoti crying on behalf of INEC? 